And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment. With me, your host, Jonathan, once again, me and you, my trailer reaction and review for Marvel's Phase 5? Number 1 movie? I believe it's Phase 5 because they said Black Panther's Phase 4's ending, so this will be Phase 5's first movie, which will be Ant-Man and the Quantum, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. First trailer or teaser is here. Trailer, whatever you want to call it. It's here. Um, we all know Kane the Conqueror is going to be in this movie and, and some involvement. Um, they got new actors in here. They got Catherine Newman. She's going to be playing the new Cassie Lang, which is kind of cool. Scott Lang's, uh, Scott Lang's daughter, who's now older. So we'll probably see her here. Um, Michael Douglas, Michelle Pfeiffer return as well. Evangeline Lilly returns as Wasp. You know, I actually like the the anime movies. I think they're all pretty much, they're like the funnest Marvel movies. And I'm excited to see this. We got Jonathan Myers. I'll probably butcher his, his last name and I apologize. <clears throat> we just saw him in the trailer for Creed. He's going to be Kang. He's back. So um, are we going to see him in the trailer? We'll see. But um, Ant-Man Ant and the Wasp Quantumania. Let's check this out. See what we get. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're an ex-con. How are you an Avenger? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Thank you, Spider-Man! <laughs> really? That's why we made this. And there she is. Like a satellite for deep space, but Quana. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. Uh-oh. Turn it off. Now. Why does Evangeline Lily always have shorter hair every movie she's in? I never understood that. She looks great though, but mm -hmm. very odd. <laughs> Whoa, look at the visuals of this thing. Okay. Whoa. It's the secret universe beneath ours. Why are you so afraid of me? There's something I never told you. Uh oh. The city that she was stuck in. Oh shoot. So that's what the city was. There he is! Oh, it's King! And he's got the look! Bill Murray, really? Okay, that looks like he's gonna be fun. I mean, we got King to conquer. That that's this is literally gonna set up King's dynasty. We all know it, and um, looks like not only are we gonna be spending time more in the quantum realm, there's a whole damn city in there. Now, this is the same city that Janet Van Dyne was stuck in the whole time. Because if you remember, and I think it was the second one, or maybe even the first one. You can see clearly in the background of one of the one of the scenes of one of the movies, a city. <clears throat> was it that city? Was she there the whole time and she finally left the city to to, to you know to be rescued by you know Scott and everybody else? Um, is this the Kang from the future? Is this a Kang that's been stuck there for centuries? We you know remember there's multiple Kangs we're gonna see throughout the multiverse. So which Kang is this one? This is not obviously it's not the Kang. From Loki, this is a different version of himself. Same actor, yes, but um, we're gonna see multiple versions of himself. So this looks cool, and um, yeah, I'm excited. You know, I I also think I also want to know if there's a time jump too because I feel like they have to explain 
uh, Cassie's, you know, aging a little bit because to, to Kathleen Newman now because she's a little older than the other actress who played her from when, you know, after the snap. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's a time jump, but um, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Comes out in February. It's a Marvel movie. We all going to enjoy it, you know. And this literally sets up the stage for Kang's Dynasty and the rest of Phase 5 movies line up so um yeah i'm excited so leave me a comment below let me know what you guys thought about it stay tuned for more and thank you very much and have a good day